Hello everyone, welcome to the design for backup video. It's a designing series and in this video we are trying to cover uh, how to design a backup. So first we will cover how to design a backup for blob and then files and then virtual machine then SQL and if there would be anything else that we could cover we will definitely cover but these four are there in the syllabus so we definitely going to cover these four so we know what is blob already and there are multiple ways we can have uh, reliability in place like soft delete versioning however operational backup for blobs is a local backup solution the backup data isn't transferred to the backup vault, but is stored in the source storage account itself. What, what I mean by that, we can have Azure backup implemented through policies for uh, blobs. However, it will only contain the metadata and actual data is stored in the same storage account. And this is a continuous backup. This native backup or Azure backup is, uh, uh, once enabled, it is a continuous backup. You don't need to schedule any, any policies. Once you enable it, it will continuously taking the backup and keeping it in the same storage account. However, the metadata is there in the vault. All changes will be retained and restorable from a selected point in time. Apart from operational backups, we do have other features that could help in backup and recovery, like soft delete and versioning. These are other features of storage account and blobs. Well, we already know there is a hierarchical structure there. We have a storage account at the top then under the storage account, we create a container. Under container, we create blobs, right? That's how it is. Now, with blob and container, we do have an option of soft delete. Versioning is only scoped to blobs. So this has soft delete option and this has soft delete option right here. But versioning is only for blobs. Now let's try understand soft delete and how it will help us. Container soft delete can restore a container and its contents at the time of deletion. The retention period for deleted containers is between one to 365 days. The default retention period is seven days. So if it is deleted, it would be there for seven days and you can uh, restore it. And if you talk about blob soft delete, it is again the same thing. Can restore a blob snapshot or version that has been deleted. Blob soft delete is useful for restoring specific files. And the retention period is again from one to 365 days. But blob versioning works in a little different way. Blob versioning works to automatically maintain previous versions of a blob just like any other version control when blob versioning is enabled you can restore an earlier version of a blob versioning lets you recover your data if it's incorrectly modified or deleted 
Blob versioning is useful if you have multiple authors editing the files and need to maintain or restore their individual changes. Container soft delete doesn't protect against the deletion of a storage account, but only against the deletion of containers in the account. And to protect, to protect a storage account from deletion, you need to take help of a resource lock. We have already seen the resource lock in previous videos. We can lock the resource with cannot delete or read only. Read only is the most restricted one. So, well, these are a few options of backup and recovery for blob storage. Now it's time to explore files. Well, Azure Files provides the capability to take uh, snapshots, share snapshots, file share snapshots. <laughs> well, these file share sna snapshots gives you an extra level of security and help reduce the risk of data corruption and accidental deletion. Just like any other snapshot, you can take the snapshot. You have the ability to take the snapshot of your Azure files. You can also use them as a general backup for DR. Well, snapshots can be automated using Azure backup and backup policies, which is recommended or rather doing manually, of course. Snapshots are at the root level of a file share and apply to all the folders and files contained in it. Retrieval is provided at individual file level though. A share uh, snapshot is a point in time. It's a point in time read only copy of your data. You can create, delete and manage snapshots by using REST APIs. Well, these snapshots are incremental, just like most of the other snapshots that we have in Azure, right? But the snapshots are not a replacement of cloud side backups. It is recommended you use Azure Backup to automate and manage file share snapshots. So what you need to do, you need to go to the integrate the recovery service vault and it would have the information of all the storage account. You can select the storage account, you can select the file share and you can apply it. Azure Backup keeps the metadata about the backup in the recovery service vault, but no data is transferred in the vault. This means a fast backup solution with built-in backup and reporting. And you do know Story Account has the option of redundancy, right? So there are a few considerations that you need to keep in mind while designing this backup for files, Azure files. First, Use instant store, instant restore. Azure File Share Backup uses file share snapshots. You can select just the files you want to restore instantly. You can configure alerts for backup and restore failures and use the reporting solution provided by Azure Backup. Yes, Azure Backup do provide the reporting solution as well. These reports provide insights on file share backups. Backup uses server endpoint VSS snapshots. We all know that. Consider giving advanced users the ability to restore files themselves. It will save a lot of time and efforts. Azure backup policies are limited to scheduling a backup once a day. If a user creates a file in the morning and works on it all day and nightly backup won't have the new file. For these reasons, consider on-demand backups. Yeah, on-demand backups for the most critical file share. Hence, if, you, if a bug or, or application error is introduced with the new deployment, you can go back to the previous version of your data on that file share. To help protect against these scenarios, you can take a share snapshot before you deploy a new application code. And we'll see that in 
on, on, the, on the portal in our upcoming video. Thank you for watching. We'll cover the other two in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.